there and welcome back to the Mastering PHP Image Processing Video Textbook. In this lesson you'll be learning how to apply watermarks to uploaded images on the fly as they are uploaded. And we will be stemming off of previous lessons within this textbook to more easily accomplish this task. So I'll show you how to have your image upload application take in a PNG, GIF, or JPEG, whatever type, and we'll apply a watermark.png file onto the uploaded image directly in the center no matter what shape or size the image is the watermark will be directly in the center now before we get into the nitty-gritty of the code let's prove that it works like we've been doing our other functions let's upload the flower let's upload the girls and let's upload the sky now let's go into our uploads folder and here we have the protected versions so I'm gonna bring those over to my local machine to inspect them. All right, let's look at protected flower. Beautiful. Lay the transparent watermark directly in the center of that PNG file, and that PNG file has been converted to a JPEG. So you can see that this is now a JPEG image that is protected with watermark, and it used to be a PNG file. When it was uploaded, it was a PNG. Let's look at protected girls. Beautiful right in the center and nice and transparent and protected sky alrighty so now you know it works you can see that it places any watermark image that you want to use right in the center so it's a really good function for you guys to start playing around with and like I said we're stemming off of the image upload application that we've been working off of since the beginning of this video textbook and by now you guys should be comfortable with what we're doing and how we're adding these external functions so here we have from the last lesson our convert to JPEG function that's how we got those images converted to JPEG to more easily watermark them so here I'm going to add Adam's image watermark function so what this does is it takes three parameters which are these three variables established here you can see them at work right there so those three parameters get fed to the AK image watermark function which is going to go in our AK PHP image library 1.0 script so let's take a look at what those variables are so the first one is target file which is the uploaded file after it's been resized and if it happened to have been a GIF or a PNG it was converted to a JPEG using this function here the second parameter is the watermark whatever kind of watermark you want to be creative and make all kind of crazy cool watermarks that's great just create a .png with no background I'm actually I'm gonna show you guys how to make the watermark PNG file in fireworks CS4 so don't worry about that I'll show you how to make that but this is where you designate that file and then the new file this is going to be the output JPEG that's going to be protected so I just put a prefix of protected underscore in front of the files name so instead of resized underscore kaboom dot jpeg it's going to be protected underscore kaboom first element dot jpeg okay so that's the three variables or the three parameters being sent to this ak image watermark function and this function has to be run after you run this convert function so if you plan to use this watermarking function then you have to run this file conversion function before you do to make sure that every file that runs through the watermarking function is a JPEG before it runs through there. You got it? Okay, good. And it's just a whole lot easier for your image application to work with nothing but JPEGs. Since we know we can convert any image and not lose any quality, we can convert any image to a JPEG, you might as well. It'll save you a lot of headaches in the long run with your programming if everything's a JPEG from the get-go because you can convert it to a JPEG. The image watermarking and everything else is a whole lot easier to do. All right, now all you guys need to see is that function, AK image watermark, which is gonna be in AK PHP image library 1.0, which is this file right here, along with all of our other functions. So the last one we put in was image convert function. This is the function that converts any image, if it's a GIF or PNG, converts it to a JPEG. So right under that one, I'm going to put a new function. It's called AK Image Watermark. Remember I said it takes three parameters. So here it is taking in those three parameters. 
The first one's the target file, the second one's the watermark file, and the last one's your new copy. The one that's going to be placed on the server, the protected file. So the first line within this function, use the image create from PNG function to create a new PNG file from the watermark files source. And you can just name that watermark. Keep it simple. Then we use the image alpha blending and image save alpha functions on that watermark and you can set those appropriately for your needs to true and false. I set my watermark to an alpha manually. So you can choose to do it the way I did it or use whatever kind of method you want. You can see mine worked just fine. You saw the finished product and it, it, had, it was a nice finished product. Okay, the next line is we create our image from a JPEG, which is the target JPEG image. And that's in a variable called IMG. Then we find that image's width and that image's height by using the image's Y and image's X functions. So you'll need that image's height and width. Then you'll have your watermarks height and width variables using the same functions, images X and images Y, but on the watermark this time. Because in the image copy function, you're going to need the watermarks height and width and the images height and width. That way we can center things nicely here also. You can see I added, actually this is code I use in Flash a lot in ActionScript 3 for dynamically centering items within containers. So I just used the same code to center the watermark PNG file into the center of any image that's being uploaded directly in the center. And the way you do that is you take the image's width divided by 2 and you minus the watermark's width divided by 2. Same thing with the height. That way you find the center point for the big image and then you offset the watermark's size to plop it right in the middle. That's basically what those two lines do, and they give you destination X and destination Y. Then you use those values in the image copy function to place the watermark directly where it needs to go, and you create a new JPEG image that has a blend of the original image and the watermark right on top. So it's really creating a new image from those two, but blending them. And then you can use image destroy on your image that was created from JPEG and image destroy on the watermark since they're not going to be needed anymore once the image JPEG function runs you won't need access to image or watermark so you can save resources by destroying those and it's a very simple to understand function for creating a watermark and like I said it works in conjunction with this convert to JPEG function so you convert any image to a JPEG that way you can more easily watermark it your watermarking functionality doesn't have to be so in-depth. It's a lot easier just to convert to JPEG than watermark. Alrighty guys, so now you have another notch in your belt for expert image processing in PHP. And stay tuned for more, because we're not done yet. Oh, I almost forgot some of you guys might want to see how to create the uh, watermark, actual watermark PNG file in Fireworks or Photoshop or whatever image editing software tool you use. So I'm going to go to create new fireworks document 8 by 6 is fine and you can go in and the way I made mine exactly if you want to see the exact way I made mine was let's see let me first change the canvas to black that's what I did first then I pulled out the spiral tool I held down the tool section you hold that down you'll get all of the uh, different shapes that you can draw. I'm going to grab spiral and then I drew out the spiral and I made sure it was white you can make it any color you want I made that two and then I spun it around to give it as many spirals as it'll get and then I think I twisted it something like that or whatever and then I had the words develop PHP right here so once you have that you can highlight those two items go to modify flatten selection so they're one item all together or you can group them and I'm gonna bring the alpha down on it to about I don't know 30 whatever you feels best so now you have faded the alpha on it so it's gonna be transparent so let's make sure you go to your canvas make it transparent canvas now you can hardly see your little item that's on there but trust me it's there and then you fit canvas and your watermark is still there remember 
if you bring your alpha all the way up to 100, you'll see it better. You see it right there? But let's keep the alpha down to about 30 or 20 in between there. 23 is a good number. Whatever you want to make it. And then you go to File, Export Wizard, Continue, the web, Continue, Exit, and make sure you have PNG32 set. And I like to make matte clear. No matte. Just make sure you set to PNG32. And then you export. You save it. Call it watermark. And it'll be watermark.png. You put that on your server. Make sure that's on your server where you're running your script. And that's all there is to it. We'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bang.